Hello, my name is Mrs. Winalda and I have been at NPC since 2011. Next year I will be teaching the second and third grade hybrid class. I have been married to my husband Dan for 26 years. We have three grown children and one daughter-in-law. We enjoy traveling and have been to all 50 states and many countries. In my free time, I enjoy sports, playing games with family and friends, and reading. I enjoy teaching elementary school because I like to teach all the subjects. One thing that is unique to my class is that I do a mini economy. The students will be learning about money. They will have classroom jobs where they will get paid. There will be other ways that they can also earn money. Once a month, we have a class store where the students can spend their money on toys and other items. I would like to read a story now that goes along with our classroom economy. This story is called Alexander Who Used to Be Rich Last Sunday. It isn't fair that my brother Anthony has two dollars and three quarters and one dime and seven nickels and 18 pennies. It isn't fair that my brother Nicholas has one dollar and two quarters and five dimes and five nickels and 13 pennies. It isn't fair because what I've got is bus tokens. And most of the time what I've mostly got is bus tokens. And even when I'm very rich, I know that pretty soon what I'll have is bus tokens. I know it because I used to be rich last Sunday. Last Sunday, Grandma Betty and Grandpa Louie came to visit from New Jersey. They brought locks because my father likes to eat locks. They brought plants because my mother likes to grow plants. They brought a dollar for me and a dollar for Nikki and a dollar for Anthony because, Mom says it isn't nice to say this, we like money a lot, especially me. My father told me to put the dollar away to pay for college. He was kidding. Anthony told me to use the dollar to go downtown to the store and buy a new face. Anthony stinks. Nikki said to take the dollar and bury it in the garden. And in a week, a dollar tree would grow. Ha, ha, ha. Mom said if I really want to buy a walkie-talkie, save my money. Saving money is hard. Because last Sunday when I used to be rich, I went to Pearson's drugstore and got bubble gum. And after the gum stopped tasting good, I got more gum. And after that gum stopped tasting good, I got more gum. And even though I told my friend David I'd sell him all the gum in my mouth for a nickel, he still wouldn't buy it. Goodbye, 15 cents. Last Sunday when I used to be rich, I bet that I could hold my breath till 300. Anthony won. I bet that I could jump from the top of the stoop and land on my feet. Nikki won. I bet that I could hide this purple marble in my hand and my mom would never guess which hand I was hiding it in. I didn't know that moms made children pay. Goodbye, another 15 cents. I absolutely was saving the rest of my money. I positively was saving the rest of my money. Except that Eddie called me up and said that he would rent me his snake for an hour. I always wanted to rent his snake for an hour. Goodbye, 12 cents. Anthony said when I'm 99, I still won't have enough for walkie-talkie. Nick said I'm too dumb to be let loose. My father said there are certain words a boy can never say, no matter how ratty and mean his brothers are being. My father fined me five cents for, each, for saying them. Goodbye, dime. Last Sunday when I used to be rich, by accident I flushed three cents down the toilet. A nickel fell through a crack when I walked on my hands. I tried to get my nickel out with a butter knife and also my mother's sisters. Goodbye, eight cents, and the butter knife, and the scissors. Last Sunday when I used to be rich, I found this chocolate candy bar just sitting there. I rescued it from being melted or smushed. Except the way I rescued it from being melted or smushed was that I ate it. How was I supposed to know it was Anthony's? Goodbye, 11 cents. I absolutely was saving the rest of my money. I positively was saving the rest of my money. But then Nick did a magic trick that made my pennies vanish in thin air. The trick to bring them back he hasn't learned yet. Goodbye, 4 cents. Anthony said that even when I'm 199, I still won't have enough for a walkie-talkie. Nick said they should lock me in a cage. My father said there are certain things a boy can never kick, no matter how ready and mean his brothers are. My father made me pay five cents for kicking it. Goodbye, nickel. Last Sunday when I used to be rich, Kathy around the corner had a garage sale. I positively only went to look. I looked at a half-melted candle. I needed that candle. I looked at a bear with one eye. I needed that bear. I looked at a deck of cards that was perfect except for no seven of clubs and no two of diamonds. I didn't need that seven or that two. Goodbye, 20 cents. 
I absolutely was saving the rest of my money. I positively was saving the rest of my money. Except I needed to get some money to save. I tried to make a tooth fall out. I could put it under my pillow and get a quarter. No loose teeth. I looked in Pearson's telephone booths for nickels and dimes that people sometimes forget. No one forgot. I brought some non-returnable bottles down to Friendly's Market. Friendly's Market wasn't very friendly. I told my grandma and grandpa to come back soon. Last Sunday when I used to be rich, I used to have a dollar. I do not have a dollar anymore. I've got this dopey deck of cards. I've got this one-eyed beer. I've got this melted candle. So I look forward to next year and teaching about money and other subjects. Have a great day.